Hi there, my name's Tony Harmer, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Lightroom Mobile. Now, at the moment, of course, in this period of isolation, models aren't always easy to come by, but fortunately, I've got a couple of lovely cats, and one of them doesn't mind being photographed at all. So here I am in Lightroom Mobile, where I captured the picture of the cat. You can see her in the top uh, left-hand corner just at the moment. But I'm on the home screen in Lightroom Mobile just to show you there are a whole bunch of tutorials here that you can find to learn more about finding your way around inside of Lightroom Mobile. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap the libraries at the top here to go into my folders and you can see I've created this ISO photo library and in there I've got a picture of Tilly, my cat. Now, we don't need to see the information associated with that, so I'm just going to tap the ellipsis on the side here, view options, and turn off the info overlays, so we can just focus on a few things that I'm going to do here just to get us started. Now, the first thing I'd like to do, because I'm intending on popping this on Instagram, is crop it down square. And you can see on the right-hand side here, I've got a whole bunch of of tools and I'm just going to choose crop here for the moment and then I'm going to choose an aspect ratio by using the icon at the top here okay and by the way if you tip this round so it's in portrait mode all of these controls are on the bottom but I thought for this video we'd stay in landscape and I'll choose one to one square here and then I can move this around you can see I get a rule of thirds grid here as well I think I want to zoom in slightly there just to bring her up into that top third just a little bit there like so. And I also am going to rotate this around just slightly like that, something like that to try and get a good level there. I think the shed is actually important or the shed roof there, so I'm going to keep it. But everything else on that I think is pretty much fine. So I'll hit the tick on the right hand side to apply that and then I'll do a couple of basic adjustments here. So what I'm going to do is come down here to this region where I can see all of my features and adjustments and I'll choose the overall uh, exposure and other settings here. So I'm going to drop the exposure down just a shade okay, and make it just a little bit more contrasty. And you can see here that I can tune into the highlights, so brighten and dampen the highlights down. I actually want to introduce a bit more in the shadows there. Okay, so I'm going to dampen those down and the blacks slightly just to bring out that contrast and also bring up the whites and highlights just a little bit. And I think that's fine. Of course, here I'm not trying to do a perfect job. I'm just trying to get you around the tools. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go to the color options here. Okay, and I think I'm going to warm this up just a shade like so. So maybe just a little bit just here in that region. You can see I'm getting a reading at the top there. I think about four is pretty good in that ballpark. There we are. Four is fine, I think, for that. And I might add just a shade of tint here as well, okay, just to bring a bit more out in her fur and her ears. And you can see here also I could increase the vibrance if I wanted to. Okay, and saturate or desaturate. I think I'll just saturate that slightly. Perfect, that's looking pretty good. Then I'll come down here to my effects. So I could add a bit of texture here just to really bring out the texture in her fur. There like so. And I can always just hold on the image itself to see a before and after preview. Just a little bit of clarity there might help as well, and a bit of dehaze there. Look at that, it's getting nice and crunchy there now. And I'm just going to vignette that down slightly, just a bit of a negative vignette, and I think that's working perfectly well. So, there's a few things just to get you started. Why not try a few of your own and then post your results using the hashtag isophoto and then challenge three of your creative friends? to do the same. But from me, that's it for now. See ya.